Hello everyone, Curtis White here from the Cannondale CyclocrossWorld.com team. Today we are racing the Shell de Cross in Antwerp, right along the canal. And the course is typically characterized by its long sand sections and its hard accelerations. And leading into today, the course was mostly dry with a couple of slick points. But we saw a little rain come in right before the men's and women's race, so there were certain points that were made more slick. One of them being the sharp hole shot corner right there. We had a short straightaway, maybe 125 meters or so, into a near 120 degree turn. Early on in this lap, it's wide open enough to where riders are jockeying for position and possibly moving up in the group before it narrows up ahead. This track has a lot of bottlenecks and speed checkpoints, so it's important to take advantage of the opportunities to move up when you can. Now, one thing that's hard to pick up on the camera is exactly how bumpy this course is. If you're spinning too light of a gear here, you're going to get bounced around a lot. Tire pressure was another key factor in this high speed race, and I chose to run Challenge Griefos at 1920 PSI, taking into account all the bumps, the sand, and newly slick corners. Now, luckily there weren't a lot of curbs or rocks or other transitions that could pose a potential threat to equipment. So coming up, we're seeing a loose sand section with bending easy to the right. And a couple of these sections are a little tricky in that you want to arc the turn a little bit wider to have a more consistent turn and carry momentum. But the hard packed lines or traction patches on the inside provided alternative lines where we had to slow down a bit. Now we're bending left here, back up the hill, and we're coming into a couple short steep shoots here. Now down, hook right up, a little bit of rut and you wanna maintain your traction up these little slick bits. Again, the rain made it a little bit more slick, so you gotta stay in a heavier gear, maintain your momentum, and kinda muscle the bike up and over. Little sand section, again, ideally we would go a little bit more wide, but the rut really brought us in a little bit closer. Back up over that steep ride up, muscle the bike, slick off camber, and regroup before the next feature here. As we pop over the sidewalk, up this little pump. We're gonna approach the last final steep shoot down to the left, back up. It's another slick transition. Muscle the bike back over, maintain traction. Now left, and we're gonna drop onto the pavement in this section here. And you're really full gas for the next 20 seconds or so. And you don't wanna give up your position as the next part of the course will be very important. Because this course is so fast and tight, there's a lot of racing the group and trying to bridge to the next group in front of you. You want to use the accordion effect to protect your line and stay ahead of the swarm so you can keep thinking about the upcoming sections and recovering while you can. You really get your first opportunity to recover after the pavement and through this series of turns. Left, right, left, right. There are a couple nice ruts here. Straightens out after this section. Hop through the sand. We have a couple steep hills coming up where you have to muscle your bike and be composed. Here we're following Ryan Kemp's wheel, the under 23 world champion, and you see just how steep this section is, really going wide and looking for traction while you can. Up over the pitch, steep drop down, couple bumps through this descent, 180 at the bottom, ramp it back up to speed so you can do it again over this next pitch. Getting to the top, muscling over, drop down again, sweeping right, and we're coming by pit one here. We're coming by pit one with plenty of speed, holding wide through that turn. Watch out for a couple roots there, communicating with my mechanic that I'm all set with pressure. But we're coming into a little bottleneck section here, slick gravel corner there. If you're coming through the pitch, you set up a little wider through that corner. But this section will be tight and not easy to pass. So it's a good opportunity to hold your position, recover for a little bit, right, left, another right here, and then you're on the gas. And you want to ramp it back up to speed because we're coming up to the heaviest section of the course yet. It's been pretty easy to break this course up into sections. The biggest opportunity to pass or move up in the group has been in the first couple minutes of this track. Then we get into a section where it tightens up a bit, we have to recover, we go up and down the steep hill a couple of times by pit one through another series of corners where we use that to recover and now it's a little bit of a section to open up into the sand pit. Now, if you're coming into the sand pit behind a wheel, you're really regulated by the speed of the rider in front of you, just because this section really has only one riding line. But if you're dictating the pace in the front of your group or bridging up to the group in front of you, use your momentum to the best of your ability to come into this section with speed, with a fresh view of the line in front of you, and really capitalize on the opportunity to gain some momentum and some space. 
Or coming out of that sand section was a really big effort because it required a lot of focus and composure and power for that sustained period of time. Now the tricky thing with the sand is that once you lose that rut and you lose your momentum, you have to be on your feet quickly. So it's better to anticipate that loss of momentum and dismount while you still have that momentum rather than stop, get off the bike, and then keep running. But we see early on in these laps, there was one really solid line. You could ride through it. Yours, Newenhouse, came by with really good momentum. We have a couple corners through here to ease up, recover, recompose ourselves a little bit. But I'm going to pull over a little bit just to let Ely Ezerby pass just to see what he does through this upcoming sand section. Now the straight coming up was a bit more challenging than the parallel straight on our right that we were just on in that it was a bit longer, a little bit more of an off camber, and the line was a little bit harder to find to ride. We saw Ely clipped in with the left but kicking his bike with the right and Tom Pickcock there studying. But again, once you lose your momentum, it's really hard to get it back in the sand. So dismount while you still have the momentum. Through the last 50 meters of the sand pit, you're really running. If you want to set the bike down, keep it in the rut. But good form is always to keep the bike shouldered. Coming out of the sand, we're remounting. Kick the sand out of your cleats if you can and into the next couple corners. Now, you see, I botched the line a little bit on that right hook there. So I'm going to go back and see how the other guys are going through this section. Now, I said it before, but with the sand, you want to have wider arches through these corners just to have more momentum. There we saw Tim Merlier dial in that right a little bit. We're going to see Ely Ezerby coming through here doing the exact same thing, noticing that he wants to keep the momentum, hold wide through that rut so he can pedal a little bit more. We see a couple of riders, Lars Vanderhaar there, staying on the inside. It's a little bit more firm on the inside, but to maintain momentum, stay to the outside. So that's what I'm going to do coming up. Remounting. Hold that outside line, able to pedal through this section. And again, you'll see an outside line developed through this left-hand hook. That'll be the line developed through the race. Now on this road section, winding it back up full gas speed, we're gonna come by pit two in this final section of the course. Now we're gassed from the long sand sections so we can catch as much of a breather as you can, but you're gonna go back up that steep hill twice. Now out of the exit of this pit, which is just shy of a 180 degree turn here at the bottom. Now if you're coming out of pit two, the line sets you up a little wider with a little bit more momentum into this hill. So if you have to pit, that's really the side to do it. But muscle on the bike up and over, steep drop with some bumps, sharp corner. Now coming back, we have a steep little up and over, dismount, and at this point we're about 300 meters from the finish. So it's remounting quick at the top, into the pedals, another steep drop with some bumps, bending to the left here, and we have some short enough barriers that are easy to hop. Now going over, one, two, about 200 meters from the finish, there's a sharp turn going on to the finish. About 150 meters from the finish right now. A sharp turn right to the finish, but I'm done with pre-ride and heading back to my camper. And so that's really the course. It's a mostly fast and flat track with a couple of hills, tight turns, and some challenging sand sections. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos through the course of the season and share with your friends. Take care, stay healthy, keep riding, and we'll catch you in Havre.